Hello and good day, everyone. I'm Sir Kenneth Forio. Welcome to Comet One Digital Marketing for Tourism and Hospitality. All right, so hello, everyone. Okay, so um, if you are watching us live, please input your name on the chat box, please, so we can recognize your attendance. And if you're not yet subscribed to this channel, click that subscribe button. And if you insist to be updated with the latest videos, why not click that bell icon to be notified. All right. So everyone, hello, everyone from the Georgie Ilagan International Schools. We're continuing our discussion on digital marketing, introdu int introducing you to digital marketing. All right. So again, reminding you for next week um, for the group reporting. Okay, so okay, so reminding you of your next synchronous session, which is a group of presentation on the eight-step process on the customer value journey. And also we again we would like to remind you that you will be reporting. I think uh, we can accommodate the first four um, first four groups on our next synchronous session, which is aware, engage, subscribe, and convert. If we have enough time, we can accommodate the uh, next two inside or as end ascend. You know? So we'll be having that. So again, please, uh, for those who are reporting, please read The Ultimate Guide to Digital Marketing by Days, uh, page 17 to 34. So please uh, work on this so that you can present on the next synchronous class. All right. So... Again, these are the guide questions. Huh? So um, each of you reporters will be just ano lang, just explaining what's the process, how's the step guide, guiding the customer, and give your own example of that particular process based on the tourism, hospitality, or culinary context. Right? So if you are if you will be mentioning case studies, please uh, proper citation. Do proper citation. Okay, so you can do any any of these presentation software. You can use PowerPoint, Sway, Canva, all of these. Okay. But by the way, if you want to avail of Canva Premium, I might I, you can request uh, a link from me. You just message me on MS Teams if you want to avail of the Canva Premium for education. Um, again, your jib.edu.ph account is. Uh, eligible for Canva Premium. So please um, let me know if you want to avail of Canva Premium, if you want to avail of more features of Canva for your presentation. Again, next synchronous week will be your presentation. Okay, so this is a 20 point uh, assessment. All right, digital marketing. So last week, we our last meeting, Last asynchronous meeting, we have already continued with the discussion on digital marketing, particularly a viral marketing and social media marketing. And I, I don't want to uh, run through any more since we, for the interest of time, just, ano lang, just to summarize what we have learned from that previous meeting. Again, the shift of marketing always um, boils down to how to cut through the clutter with your audiences and also to reach your target audience in an effective way. So again, this is the power of marketing. You know? uh, especially if you are, you know, if you get involved later on in the entertainment industry or the sports industry or the events management industry, you want to um, say, um, this demonstrate the power of say sports or events or entertainment to help engage your customers and bring brand loyalty somewhat to whichever event you are handling. Right, so um, again, how do you understand the concepts of digital marketing? Again, um, today's customers are very cognizant or very aware of the marketing messages all around them. So it, it can be very tiring for them to having to go through this um, 
to do this uh, digital marketing, this marketing messages all around them. So it's really important that you as a digital marketer turn to technology to help engage your target customers. No? So it, you have to have that creativity in order to uh, satisfy the needs of your target audiences. Okay, so another part of our introductory lesson this, uh, in this video is to, um, to allow you to be able to understand the process of digital and social media marketing or SMM within the buyer persona. This is actually a, I know, I'm, I'll be citing some researches later on, as you can see in the footnotes in my slides later. So you will see what are these, um, what is this buyer's persona spring or that particular loop or particular process of uh, acquiring uh, customers, acquiring clients and all of that, you know, within the scope of the buyer persona. All right, so, here are some uh, no, here are some thoughts about digital and social media marketing strategy. Okay, so this is to support your vision, mission, goals, and activities. No, um, if your organization has a VMGO or vision, mission, goals, and objectives, your digital channels must align with that, must support that. And another thing about that uh, is to bring engagement not just broadcasting messages all around the people who are watching your profile or watching your website watching your say your youtube channel there must be an engagement that must be going on next is for feedback and data gathering no for example you are a restaurant no you always have to have feedback of whatever operations you are handling you must have feedback from your customers to improve further improve your services and that's a that's one um, key aspect of digital marketing okay so on this point I, i'm showing you this one this scope of digital and social media marketing the entire scope it's digital marketing then we have the internet marketing and the social media marketing inside so remember what I had mentioned in the previous lesson, internet marketing is it's just one segment of digital marketing. Then SMM or social media marketing is also just part of internet marketing. Just basically social media is hosted over the internet, right? Okay, so I'm showing you the action learning cycle. This is based on a, on a paper from a digital marketing think tank. So uh, what they propose on this action learning cycle is first to plan, then you act upon your plan, then you observe and then reflect. Basically like that. Basically it's just a simplified version of, a, of the scientific method. It's a simplified, uh, no, simplified um, of method of, of uh, simplified cycle of the scientific method is you plan you find out the problem then act on it act on the problem then observe your uh, get your observations then reflect do all your conclusions verify your conclusions uh, maybe if you need to reject a hypothesis reject the hypothesis Parang ganun lang yapon, no? it's all of that no it's part of your learning cycle as a, even as a student or as a professional you always have to have that. So in connection with the buyer persona spring, um, you start with your strategy, then you implement your campaign, then develop your tactics, then assess. Parang ganun lang yapon ang, ang takbo. No? Then you go back always to the strategy until you reach your goals. Okay, according to the Digital Marketing Planning Guide, no, so this is the, what they call this marketing development cycle. You have your buyer persona, you got your demographic profile. It's basically the demographic profile of your customers. Then you formulate your objectives, create your strategies, acquire tools. Then you implement the strategy, your marketing, then monitor, 
Then yung update, if it needs to update, then listen to feedback from your buyers. So, ganun lang yan. So, when, whenever you market something, you are doing, implementing your marketing uh, implementation, so always uh, understand how you can gather feedback from your customers. Okay. What are the outcomes or results of your marketing planning cycle? No. First is to um to have these issues no these issues create customer avatars have competitive benchmarks then you have clear objectives to achieve then when you have a marketing planning cycle you have segments to focus on what particular stage are you already there in your marketing strategy then you formulate your concrete list of activities implement no say you want to organize events or so, say say do an aggressive like social media campaign that you want to involve your audiences in then you have a timeline you have a clear timeline when you have a marketing planning cycle then through your through web analytics which i will mention later on in another module um, you can measure the performance of your marketing campaign then based on that you can now get a change in your objectives or strategies update on your strategies or your objectives okay so how can you um say formulate your marketing message it always based on the strategic value of your buyer persona who are your customers what are the basic features of your customers? Parang ganun lang. Um, um, I'll give an analogy. Um, you, call, you, uh, you can compare this to like buying an appliance. No? For example, I, I just bought an air cooler here in our uh, bedroom where I am now. <laughs> I'm recording this in my bedroom. Well, what are the basic features of your um Basic features of your air cool. Yeah, it cools the air. It uses water to cool the air, blah, blah, blah. Then, where are your sources of information? So, you can um, for, um, find out the, the basis of an air cooler. Like, for example, you want to compare air cooler versus an actual air conditioner. So, what are the pros and cons? No, ganon. Or, what are your goals? Goals is to cool, cool our bedroom, for example. Wala lang. No? Then, the details of the job. What what does it do? <laughs> no job details. Example for your customers. What what job can they do as customers? Ano yung goal niyo? They will buy your products and services and all of that. Ganon. Uh, an analogy. If you're looking for the job details of this particular appliance, like an air cooler, no. <laughs> so basically, it, it it should work by. Providing a fan, for example, provides a fan. Um, it should have certain uh, uh, air swing, somewhat, somewhat or, ano ba, or uh, does it accept ice as its ano, uh, source of cooling? Ganun. Does it um, quotes <laughs> um, for, uh, for a product or a service that's quotations, like uh, how much is this or how much is that? But for a person, um, what does this person mention in terms of feedback, in terms of uh, how, how good is your product? Yeah, quotes. No? Next is pain points. Um, what are the pain points in acquiring this customer or this buyer? No? Or in, in analogy, I said earlier in an example, um, if I buy an air cooler, what are the pain points of using an air cooler? Yeah, I have to refill this with water. I have to refill this with um, ice every time. No? So, ganun. Next, preferred medium. Uh, in analogy of appliances, um, where should I plug this? What, what preferred medium I should... Um, what preferred outlet should I plug in my, uh, no, my air cooler? Is it on the floor, on the wall? Where should it be placed? Preferred medium. 
Next, um, what would be the strategic value? What are the objections of your um, persona or buyers? No. For, for instance, um, again, for the preferred medium, if say your customer wants, prefers Facebook and Instagram. No. So what could the customer object or your buyer object in terms of acquiring your product? Should um, Maybe he might not want say uh, something annoying na very uh, obstructive advertisements for example or he doesn't want to be sent all the time sent marketing messages all the time whatever no then parang ganun. um sometimes uh, i parang parang ano yan siya parang counter indications ng gamot or yung mga side effects ng gamot no It could, uh, no, it could affect you in a certain way when you acquire this customer. These are those objections or para counter uh, counter indications nga, para sa gamot. Next one is uh, the role in the purchase process. Now, what is the role of your customer in buying him or acquiring this per this person? No. So in in the case of an anal of this analogy of my air cooler here at home, no. Again, once what is the like the role or the deeper role of my air cooler as an appliance, no? Aside from cooling the room, so. Parang ganon ganito. Um, I I want an air cooler because I want to protect my devices. Kasi very sensitive sa heat. Ay ayoko mainita ng room. I want to be comfortable when I sleep. Parang ganun. That's the role of the purchase process of acquiring this customer. And that is where you get your marketing message. You want to formulate based on your buyer's persona. All right? The the attitude of your target audience is always important to to get acquire and in order for you to satisfy the needs of your clients. Say, for instance, this particular um, uh, fan of, say, milk tea. He likes milk tea. He likes to explore different flavors of milk tea. So, okay. Find out, you as the owner of the business, find out what are the demographics of your buyers or your customers that you want to acquire. Then, you get all of these. Okay? So, it can be achievable when you are able to create strategic value for your buyers or for your clients. Um, what are the channels of engagement you want to establish once you acquire your buyers? Number one is to create content that answers the biggest questions of your buyers, of your clients, or buyer persona. Use digital or tangible content that your buyer persona prefers to read or watch. It must be tangible. It must... Um, It must come into the senses of these buyers of your clients. Use social channels that your buyer personas love to use, whatever platform is available. Then fluently speak your BP's language, your buyer's language. If you are targeting a younger audience, speak their language, speak their attitudes, convey their attitudes, okay? Convey their best uh, attributes. Send content when your buyer person is most engaged. No? Say, for instance, um, say if it's during the holidays, during the Christmas season, no? um, this is where most students are engaged. For example, young people are getting engaged during Christmas time, especially like um, they may be engaging in Christmas parties or digital, yung mga ganun, virtual Christmas parties or yung mga What you call that? Yung mga... Na ganun na mga bagay, no? When they are most engaged, this is where you will send them content. And then, you customize your calls to action. No? Are they... Would you want them to sign up? Would you want them to subscribe to your channel? 
or something like that, do it. Okay. So what do you need to achieve? What do you want to achieve when you're doing digital marketing? Okay. So I actually mentioned this uh, in the previous videos, but um, I just want you to ano mo, uh, to, uh, to um, enumerate those objectives. First is you to build a brand. You want to build a brand. You want to build a reputation for your business. So you want to have a brand that people can remember. Second is to produce new product ideas. No? You want to satisfy the needs of your customers. It's always important that you can produce them new ideas for your customers. Then increase customer satisfaction. That's a given. Then um, word of mouth recommendations. That is like um, one of those tangible goals that you can engage with the customers. Oh, you want your customers just to like say to their friends, like, we this one, this so and so restaurant or this so and so hotel, this so and so airline is really good. You want to like blah, 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 blah. Yeah. You want your customers to talk about your products or services. Next is to generate leads. No, generate um, leads that can attract uh, customers or your clients to your business. Next is crisis reputation management. Whenever something bad happens to your company or to your, uh, no, you can manage it. Crisis, crisis management is something that can... Um, help the business overcome certain challenges. Like for example, what happened during the pandemic, during lockdowns. How can you engage in crisis management when you don't have particular knowledge in digital marketing? No? How do you tell your customers, oh, it's okay, we can like, for example, if you're a restaurant, okay, uh, it's okay to um, say, um, we'll do delivery, we'll do delivery um, for a charge, we don't care. We just want you to um, be satisfied. Or, uh, we just want to serve you food in spite of the pandemic like that. Then um, integrate social media marketing with PR, public relations and advertising. That is one goal also of digital marketing and so much more. No, So what, what I want you to understand is to um, understand the objectives of digital marketing. It's not just for you as the owner of a business, but also for your customers to have be satisfied with what you do. Okay, so I, I you may already be familiar with the term smart, specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and time bound. No, so always it's always important that your objectives must be smart. Okay, you have a clear goal for your business, for your marketing strategies. Here are some, uh, no, here are some key performance indicators of a certain social media marketing business. Now, it's always important that you always observe the data that you have in comparison um, for, for uh, say, what you call that for a certain period of time you create the the metrics you you get the metrics from a certain time period and you compare it with say cur the current time period oh 60.7 percent ah oh, i had increased my hits or page views or i increased the number of followers i increased the number of sales or is there a decrease in the promoter score oh what what can i do about it how to do i uh, avoid a drop in my net pro promoter scores. Depend it depends on how you perceive your business. Okay. Okay. So I'm I'm showing also this particular a particular eight C model for strategy development. This is from the the description below. Okay. So these are. Um, when we create a strategy, when we develop a strategy, um, it works the, on these ways. You categorize your strategy. You comprehend. You understand what's going on. Next is to converse. Talk with your customers. Um, you have to collaborate. 
collaborate or engage with them, engage with them, link with them if possible, contribute, no? then connect, then form a community and convert or get their attention, get their, if they are buying your products already, go, no? That's a good thing. So, so, in case you're wondering, you know, in case you're wondering, when you develop a strategy, when you develop a strategy, you begin to, I know, you begin to create a, a framework for your business in terms of your marketing, digital marketing to be exact. No? Well, while it can apply to traditional marketing, please understand that um, traditional marketing may not um, apply well to some of these. Say, for example, connect. In traditional marketing, connection will be only be effective when a lot of people are getting engaged. No? But in digit, in traditional marketing, you're just doing like one-to-one -one talking, and sometimes it can be very detrimental to others. Na, ano naman tong sinasabi nila? Or ano man tong gina, ginapakita sa ako? Ah, like that. And for the hopes of those who want to engage more, the, ano, digital marketing is the key. No, and we, we want to create a community like this one, one the, another C there. You create a community wherein these these people uh, are able to engage with your products and services. Okay. So these are the eight C's for strategy development. Okay. What are the alternatives that you can do with your strategy? No. Um. What are the alternatives? You can do the customer acquisition strategy. How you acquire your customers? How can you retain your customers? Then what are your branding strategies? What brand you establish to your customers? The conversion-driven strategies is also important. No? And with that, when you have an integrated web strategy on your online uh, digital marketing, your goal, goal rather is to achieve a maximum return of investment. Mm -hmm. And it's it's uh it's an important thing that you need to understand, and with that, your your goals as a marketer, as your the owner of the business, your investments on social media platforms must have a maximum return. Okay, kung ano man yung lapagastusan mo for your marketing campaigns, dapat malaki yung balik sa'yo. Tama ba? Ayan. Okay. So let us mention some of these um, digital marketing tactics. No? Um, first is SEO, search engine optimization, and desired outcomes of SEO is to acquire and retain your customers. Second is affiliate and partner marketing. So the outcomes of this, what you want to achieve is sales and ROI, return of investment. Next is your search advertising, PPC or pay-per-click advertising. Ang gusto mo naman nito is to be able to sell, then retain and acquire some customers. No? Next is online advertising. Branding is... One, uh, one goal for online advertising, video marketing also. It's also part, um, can also achieve your branding goals. And also, last in email marketing is to retain your customers and create value for your customers. Right. So, yeah. Next, um, call to action. What is a call to action, sir? So, um, notice some pages if you go to a website. There's this thing called sign up. So 
that's actually a basic call to action. That button there is a call to action. It's simply the action you want someone to do for each stage of your marketing campaign. I will mention this also call to action uh, in the next uh, module, right? and you will be learning um, what we call them, what they call the marketing funnel. And each stage of the funnel, there's a call to action. You know? So what is a call to action? It can be clicking on a blog post from Twitter or Facebook, you sign up for a webinar or sign up for an email newsletter or have a, have a call with a salesperson or purchase. No, these are call to actions and calls to action rather. And uh, I will mention this in the next uh, module. No, we'll, we'll talk about this. Okay. How you can produce the proper call to action. Next, um, here, you, you, when you strategize your digital marketing campaign, there's also, there should be considered you should consider constant change. Changes in the industry, changes in the attitude of your customers. You, you will allow it to happen for you to improve as you go. No? Hindi naman ano, porque marami ng mga customers, parami ng parami ng customers mo, nasa satisfy na yung needs nila. No? So, remember, there are always changing needs to these customers and you, under, you should understand on that. No? Next is to be quick, creative, and proactive. No, iterative rin dapat ang strategy. Paulit-ulit, step by step. It's open to evolution. No, you should be proactive with ever with your customers' feedback. No, rather than being slow, predictable, and reactive. Okay, so dapat yan yung pagkakatandaan mo. Uh, once you create your marketing campaigns, which we'll be tackling over once we um, do our reporting and we'll explain some of those steps on the customer value journey as proposed by Ryan Diggs in his book. Okay, so to wrap up everything in this, uh, in this lesson, okay, strategy is always positioning your brand within that marketing uh this marketing creates a roadmap, you no, know? and you should be able to process or understand who you are, where you are, where you need to be, you no, know? and how you will get there. And you should be mindful of the returns of investments. How can it be measured? And with that, optimize your tactics to create a valuable brand story and excellent user experience. It's always customer satisfaction, okay? So that's it for this discussion on digital marketing. Here are the references you want to check on this. Anyway, I'll upload this on uh, MS Teams later on. Okay, so quiz number one is available now on your Microsoft Teams account. Please answer quiz number one. Deadline is our next meeting. So the coverage of quiz number one is this, um, the previous lessons that we had. So please check the slides and study the slides and you'll be able to answer your quiz number one. This is just a um, more or less a multiple choice question, multiple choice enter or false uh, quiz. For those who are watching us live, please uh, be reminded of your prelim exam. That will be on Wednesday, coverage on module one, introduction to digital marketing. Test one is true or false, and test two is an essay type uh, examination. So your exam will be conducted on Microsoft Teams. So our next synchronous session, please prepare all of you for your group presentation on the eight-step process of the CVJ or the customer value journey. So thank you so much, everyone. So we're so happy. I'm so happy to have you with us. No, so don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Click that subscribe button. And if you insist, bell icon is right there for you to be notified of all my videos. So thank you so much, everyone. Um, we hope to see you on our group reporting. See you on our next session. Thank you and see you soon. Stay safe.